Hi everyone, NDTV here with other vlogs. So, I haven't really vlogged much in these past few days, but that's because I'm not going to get into it. There's a lot of personal stuff going on. Again, not going to get into it, but I figured I might as well just at least vlog something because, yeah, I mean, you no, know, this whole vlog is just going to be talking about some mail that I got because before when I made the vlog about paying off one of my student loans, like the small student loan, I also mentioned that I ordered some stuff like cards and controllers. Well, some of the cards arrived. I'm just gonna like quickly go through like because I have a cyber stack. So yeah, some of the cards arrived, not all of them, but the more interesting thing that I got is right down there, actually. These actually arrived yesterday, it's just I didn't really want to to film that but yeah got the splatoon 2 pro controller and then the neon pink and neon green joy cons because why not i mean the splatoon 2 controller i don't really i don't have splatoon 2 i haven't played a splatoon game but i mean it was only ten dollars more than the regular pro controller so figured why not and it looks really cool so yeah and the green and pink joy cons I, I just really like so this video is just gonna be a splatoon 2 pro controller unboxing plus joy cons so yeah let's start with this okay so i think it's just the joy cons i don't think it comes like with a grip or anything but still got like the joy con guard things and then the actual joy cons so Cool. Also, bubble wrap is nice. And then these, of course, I do love how these Joy Cons basically make the Switch customizable. So, yeah. Also, nice colors. Yeah, I don't think these are charged, so. Eh. Still, pretty cool. And also, why, why not? There. These are these guards are actually interchangeable. Doesn't matter like which direction, but still, pretty cool. I actually don't remember if like the ones that came with the switch have wrist straps or not, but yeah. Again, I do like how like the Joy Cons basically make the switch customizable because they come in all sorts of different colors. There's the regular black ones, the the red and the blue ones over there. Then there's these ones. There's yellow ones, red. Just red ones, or like the Super Mario Odyssey bundle. I think they sold them separately. Just really cool. That's something I do like. And the battery life on the Joy-Cons also isn't that bad either. But um, let's open you up. So I'm pretty much expecting this to be like the same as the, um, the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Pro Controller. There's a USB-C cable, which, I mean, I guess it's always handy to have more of these. And then the pro controller itself Ooh, that's a noise but um yeah looks pretty neat i like it a lot i mean i i'm already used to the xenoblade chronicles 2 one so this really isn't different except for like design wise but like same shape buttons are the same of course but uh yeah and, like, the reason I got all of this stuff is because I, I'm basically future-proofing because there's a lot of, like, multiplayer games coming out on the Switch that I really want that I, that they're not out yet, like, um, Smash, of course. I still need to get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, there's also, like, Dragon Ball Fighters, because you don't say the Z in that, but, um, and Super Mario Party, because it's not Mario Party 11, it's, yeah, Super Mario Party. Like, games like that, like, that I'm really interested in. And it'd be nice to have, like, a variety in controllers, because there's the Joy-Cons, which could each function as their own, or if I get a grip, then these can just be one controller together. Of course, there's the Pro Controller. The uh, GameCube adapter works with it, so there's that. Just, like, it's nice to have options, basically. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much going to be it for this vlog so yeah 
again, going through personal stuff. Don't really want to talk about it, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, gonna end it off here, and see y'all next time for the vlog. Later.